Jessica. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to our kitchen and this is the Half Pint Sue. This weekend is Super Bowl weekend, which is a big deal at our house. We always have way too much food. But on the menu this weekend, we are going to be having some creamy, delicious deviled eggs. Green beans wrapped in bacon in a brown sugar and butter sauce, Italian sausage queso dip, a big pot of chili, chicken wings, shrimp cocktail, and Southwestern egg rolls. So this weekend we have a two episode series because today is Saturday and we are gonna do all the prep work that we can do the day before and then we will wrap it all up tomorrow and finish everything off and make the things that need to be super fresh right before the game. You ready? Yep. First thing that we're gonna start making is the deviled eggs. So put those really easy down in the pot. The egg plate that I have for deviled eggs holds 12 halves. I, I ordered to make a circle out of them. Sure. It holds 12. Um, and then I put some in the middle. So I can usually make about 16 halves. Um, so I'm going to use two extra eggs and discard, or somebody will eat the whites of those. And that way I'll we have. You will? Okay, yeah. good. That way we have a little bit extra yellow to overfill the eggs a little bit. So we're gonna put those in the pot. We're gonna bring it to a boil and boil those for about six minutes or so until they're done. So while we're waiting on our eggs to boil, we are gonna work on the green bean rolls. So we have a pound of center cut bacon that we've cut the strips in half. And we have opened two cans of whole green beans, which we'll probably end up using more than that. I'm um, going to the green beans on top of here. We're going to roll them up. If you can give me one piece of bacon at a time, one little piece. No, like this. One piece. Okay. And then grab me some green beans out of that can. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. Okay. That's good. Or you can just make a pile. Okay, so we're gonna wrap about five green beans inside of this bacon at a time and roll them up and we're gonna repeat the process till we have a ton of them. So that's what all the beans look like wrapped up in the bacon and now we're gonna make the sauce for them. So you wanna put that butter in the pot? Yep. And we'll let it melt. So you wanna use equal parts of butter and brown sugar. So since we have a lot of beans, we're using a cup each. If you had less beans, you could use half a cup of butter and half a cup of sugar. But the most important part, you wanna melt the butter first, and the most important part is to keep the heat on low, um, or just a little bit above low, because if it is too hot, then um, the butter and the sugar won't mix well together. Our butter is melted, so you're gonna add that cup of sugar in there real easy so it doesn't splash. Well, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Take your whisk and stir. Get brown all over that. Yeah. Now stir the brown. It. Yeah, easy. Do it easy. Now brown. Now you've got all that mixed in, so you're gonna add just a little dash of soy sauce. Okay. Does it last? A little dash. One more. There we go. That's it. Now, a couple of shakes of garlic powder. Okay. Keep going. Now, that's it. A little bit more. Okay, and mix that again, and then we'll pour that over the beans. Now, so we have this, it's all caramelized and delicious looking. You grab that and we're gonna pour it over the beans. But you gotta let me help you. Okay, you ready? Get everywhere. So now we've poured that on top. We're gonna let it cool for a little bit. Put the lid on it. And this is something you can totally make the day before. And then all you do the next day when you're ready to have your party is just put it in the oven. Now we're back to our eggs. How we put a little I, bit. How do you do it? You do, do it like this. You just wanna crack it a little bit and then start peeling. Put a little bit of cold water in there to kind of cool them off a little bit. You don't want them to be completely cold. 
the shell doesn't come off easy. So we're gonna peel all the shells off. It's way. Now we have the shells off, and we're gonna cut them. Cut them long ways. Place the yellow, the yellow in there. My mom cut them this way once, and my grandmother made fun of her for years. So cut them this way. We have our worked on mashing up the yellow. We're gonna add a about a teaspoon of mustard. Can you put that in there? Yep. <laughs> Gotta shake it. Now it's like this. Yes, and that is pickle juice. Some people put relish in their eggs. I don't like the texture of relish, but I like the flavor. So we add a little bit of pickle juice, not too much because you don't want it to be watery. Then we add a bunch of mayo. We'll start with like a tablespoon at a time until I tell you. Okay, so for 10 eggs, we ended up with about four tablespoons of mayo, and then of course we'll taste it and see. But I always use a hand mixer to do this because I like it really creamy. So So I discovered a really neat way to make your deviled eggs prettier by using um, a cake icing piping tool. And so of course all of the egg yolk will not fit in this. So I start out with, I just spoon the excess into the eggs and then we squirt this on top to make it pretty. So you want to help me squirt that in there? I can do it all by myself. I don't think so. I can try. Now we have some beautiful deviled eggs. If you like paprika on top of yours, you can um, sprinkle some of that on there. I also okay. found a good way to do that. Hold out your hand. I'm going to put some of this in your hand. And I want you to rub your hand. Put your hand. Put the other hand on top. Now rub them together. Rub them together. There we go. So we just get a little sprinkling. So our eggs are done. We've got the paprika on top. We'll put the lid on this, stick it in the refrigerator till tomorrow, and then we'll transfer it to our pretty egg plate. So now we are going to make our Southwestern egg rolls, and they are so good. So we're starting with two chicken breasts that we broiled until they were ready. The internal temperature was about 140 degrees, and then we shredded them up. The ingredients to it. So we have about a cup of black beans. Can you put that in there? Pour that in there. Corn. Corn. About a cup of corn. Okay. Now our spices. What's that one? I want the cumin first. Cumin first. Okay. Teaspoon of cumin. Parsley, chopped up some fresh parsley, about a tablespoon. Okay, what else? Chili powder, uh, teaspoon of chili powder. What's that one? Salt. We've got about a half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, and our cheese, so two cups of cheese. cheese. You can use any kind of cheese, Monterey Jack, Colby Jack. I like to use a blend of mozzarella and provolone because it melts really well. So mix that all together. Don't try not to throw it in the pool. So now we're gonna roll up the egg rolls. You can do them with tortillas, um, but I like to use real egg roll wrappers um, because if you're doing them the day before, like I am, and you use tortillas, they're gonna get soggy. These are perfect to do if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it the day before. So you just take a little bit of the mixture and put it on there diagonally. Roll that over like that. Put either end and then roll it up. 
gonna take this little cup of water, wet the edge so that seals it. And then I go back on the outside. And then you can just save those in a Tupperware in the refrigerator to fry up right before the party. Our egg rolls are all rolled up and ready to go in the fridge until we fry them in oil tomorrow, right before the game. Now we are gonna get working on the wings, which is a lengthy process. Watch your finger. Pull that over. Okay, so we do half of our wings we bread and half of them we don't. And we do four flavors. We're gonna have regular honey barbecue, we're gonna have hot and spicy. We have ranch and teriyaki. So we're gonna open those up, rinse them off, and place them on these paper towels. Now, season all of those before we separate the ones that are breaded and not. Salt and pepper on all of them. Good job. Next, over here, over here. One. Yes. Pepper on here. Oh, you have to do. I uh, get. I got you. Okay. Now move on to your next choice. Scoop me out some flour and put it in that bag. One more of those. Whoa. That's a lot. That's too much. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Put pick up some of these wings and put them in this bag with the flour. Okay. There you go. Keep adding. No, it's fine. We'll shake it. I'll let you shake it here in a minute. Put all those in there. So now we have the wings in the bag with the flour. Pick it up and shake it. Shake it, shake it. Shake the bag. Okay, so now we are getting ready to fry up these wings, the ones that are not breaded. The half pint two cannot assist during this process because there is a lot of hot oil popping everywhere. I even put towels down on the floor. It is a giant mess, which is why we do wings once a year. So you're gonna heat your vegetable oil on the stove until it's pretty hot. And then all you're doing is getting the exterior of the chicken really um, crispy. You don't need to worry about cooking it all the way through because once we brown it, we're going to put it into the marinade overnight and then it goes in the oven tomorrow so it will finish cooking then. So what you're doing is trying to just get the um, exterior nice and crispy. I'm going to start adding these to the hot oil. Without overcrowding, it's already popping. That's why there's no children over here. Let's get those nice and brown. We have our first batch of the non-breaded. Those are getting finished up. I added the third skillet because we've got six burners, so why not? Now we're going to add the breaded ones. So we get those out one at a time with some tongs. Shake off the excess flour. And repeat the same process. And we've got a big mess going. So now we have all of our wings cooked and we have everything separated Hi, into bags. Hi. Hi. I like this one. You do? That's the teriyaki sauce. So make sure that your wings are completely cooled before you put them in the bag to add the marinade, Otherwise, especially the breaded ones, because otherwise they will get soggy. So we're going to squirt the marinade in each of these bags and then put them in the fridge for tomorrow. Put your ranch first into the breaded. Pour that in there, that's good. That's okay. good. Now put it in this bag. Nope, put some in this bag. That's the non-breaded ones. Whoops. Pour it in there. Good job. Hot sauce. <coughs> Put that. Ah! Oop, it's okay. Pour that down in this. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. okay. Teriyaki. I'll do really fast. No, it goes it goes quick. 
There we go. I'll do it all by myself. Right, open this bag for me. I will pour it. Open the bag. Okay. I want to pour, pour it. it. <laughs> you, you hold the bag and I'll pour it. Okay. Thank you. Squeeze some. Good One job. bag at a time. Kind of roll it around and get all, okay, just kind of get all that marinade over there. And then we will put those in the fridge. Then, and they will go. Okay. You done with that one? Okay. And then they will go in the oven tomorrow, about 30 it's minutes. Tomorrow. 30 minutes prior to the game. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed part one of our two part Super Bowl weekend recipe. Stay tuned for tomorrow when we finish all of the things that we prepped today and make our Italian sausage queso and a big pot of chili. You done? Say bye. Bye.